I'm Josh Holmes. I'm the executive producer on Halo 5 Guardians. Halo 5, obviously a lot of expectation after Halo 4 and the Master Chief Collection and stuff. What have you kind of nailed down as the key kind of things you need to get right with this one? Well, for us, I mean, Halo 5 is the biggest and most ambitious Halo game we've ever made. Um, it's a game that includes a, a sweeping campaign story that's played from the perspective of two different protagonists and their teams, and will take you all across the Halo galaxy to multiple different worlds. Um, and then on the multiplayer side, we have two distinctly different multiplayer experiences that the game contains. One is our arena competitive multiplayer, which is 4v4, built for esports. And then on the flip side of that, we have Warzone, which is a brand new epic scale multiplayer experience, bringing together all the best parts of Halo in one colossal multiplayer mode. I mean, co-op obviously is a big thing for Halo, always has been, but this time you've got two separate fire teams, each yes. with uh, different characters. Um, obviously Master Chief and Lock we know. Those other characters, are you going to flesh out those stories a bit more? I know they've been in like outside Halo fiction, but within the, the confines of the game? Yeah, yeah. One of the big focuses for us in campaign has been co-op. Um, and in addressing co-op as, as one of the foundational design pillars, um, you know, it's, it's influenced the way that we've designed spaces, but it's also been the reason why we have these two fire teams of, of four Spartans. So wherever you're going within the game, you always have three other Spartans that are a part of your team. Um, and they're there so that they can support you on the battlefield. And if a, a friend wants to join in and take control of one of them, they can do so seamlessly, um, just jumping into your, your session. And each one of those characters has their own uh, personalities, their own arc within the story, uh, as well as just some, some subtle differences in the way that they play. We've tried to, to bring personality into their HUD design so that it reflects the visual design of their armors. And then we also have unique loadouts for each one of those characters. And then they have uh, attributes that are different from one to the next. So, you know, one character might be faster than the others, and another character has uh, the ability to keep their motion tracker up while uh, sighting in smart link mode, for example. All of the characters within the Spartan Fire teams are, play a big part in the story. They're, they're fully voiced, they appear in the cutscenes. Um, the storytelling approach that we've taken with the game is, is an objective view, so there are times within the storytelling where we'll focus on one character or another, or even take the player to another scene entirely. Um, but during the course of play, you're going to see those, those other members of your fire team uh, play important roles within the story. Do you feel like you have a little bit of an uphill battle trying to endear uh, players to Locke as a character? Because obviously everyone loves Chief. Uh, what are you kind of doing? Obviously you did Nightfall, but what else are you doing to kind of build up Locke as a character and, you know, uh, ingratiate him to players? I, I think it's interesting, you know, we're introducing Spartan Locke as a new protagonist and he's new to Halo fans and those fans have grown to know and love Chief. This is a story that focuses on the Chief, but we use Locke as an important lens to, to look at the Chief and examine him more closely. And I think Locke is an interesting contrast to Chief, you know, he's a mysterious character, he's someone who we've very deliberately tried to develop as a contrast to Chief, um, and we're, we're hopeful that, you know, players will lo grow to love Locke, um, you know, and, and see him as a counterpart to the Chief that is uh, interesting to, to play and, and get to know. In terms of multiplayer, so you've got the arena and the war zone. Uh, Warzone's quite exciting, it's big, you said it's like the best of Halo all in one, kind of under one roof. Uh, what's the most exciting aspect of multiplayer overall do you feel that you can't wait to get into players' hands? The biggest, most in, exciting part of multiplayer altogether? I, I mean, I think it's the fact that we have these, these two different modes and you can move back and forth depending on your, your preference or your mood. Um, you know, Warzone is, is huge, it's chaotic, it's exciting. Um, you have an in-game uh, progression curve where you level up through the course of each match and get access to um, more and more powerful uh, weapons and vehicles. Um, so that, that's a really unique experience. On Arena, that is Halo in its purest form. It's, you know, it's all about competition. It's very, very uh, finely tuned and balanced. Each one of the maps has been designed with that experience in mind. Um, you've got 
traditional map control that you're fighting for, where you've got power weapons that are placed around each of those maps. So they, both of those experiences play very differently, um, but I love the fact that you can just move back and forth between the two. I mean, Arena sounds kind of intimidating to a player who's perhaps not very good at multiplayer. Is there anything you're doing to kind of ease people in gently into that side of it? Or is that kind of more where the pro players are being pushed to? I, I think Arena, you know, there's a lot of focus that gets paid to the esports aspects of Arena and pro players, but it's really designed as an experience that appeals to players of all skill levels. We use um, a skill ranking system called CSR, Competitive Skill Ranking, um, and that actually allows us to track the skill of different players and make sure that players are playing with the appropriate skill level uh, of competition. And so if you're, if you're new to Halo multiplayer, you're not you know, a super elite player, you can still go into Arena and have a great time. It's still uh, you know, good for a laugh and everything, but if you're, if you're someone who aspires to be um, one of those elite players, um, we have a lot of things that are built into the mode through CSR and the like that will track your skill as you continue to improve and give you that, that motivation to keep climbing the ranks and getting better. You had your beta a good few months ago now as well. Uh, what was the kind of feedback like that and what was the um, most common uh, kind of, not complaint necessarily, but kind of feedback that you got from that? So we, we held a beta uh, just this last year, and it was the earliest we've ever held a beta for Halo. The reason that we held the beta that early was we wanted to have time to take feedback from the community and be able to react to it within development of the game. We got a ton of great feedback from the community. Um, we've made a number of changes since then, um, refined things from presentation to weapon balance. We've made changes to some of the, uh, the levels that appeared in the beta. Um, that have improved the flow of those levels, changed the, the weapons that are placed on, on the maps. Um, we've also made some tweaks to one of the new modes that, that we introduced in the beta, Breakout. Um, we've added an objective into that, that mode as an optional way of uh, winning the round. So a lot of great feedback that we're able to take from the community. And we see the community as a really important engine for continuing to improve our experience um, throughout the course of development and then beyond as we launch the game and continue to support it. Imagine you're talking to a non-Halo fan, never played a Halo game before. Uh, in a nutshell, quickly, what would you say to this person to get them to pick up Halo 5 and play it? I mean, I, I think Halo is the ultimate sci-fi experience. It's, it's an experience that allows players to live out um, that fantasy of being a hero, being this powerful Spartan that's able to do almost anything in battle. And the, the best part about Halo is that it's such a reactive experience, you know? It's a, it's a systemic uh, combat experience where you're able to be super creative on the battlefield and all of the AI and the physics and everything is reacting to what you do um, so that you can, you can really experiment and play with all of these toys that we put in your disposal. And, uh, and so, yeah, if you haven't checked out Halo, you, you definitely should. It's, it's, a, it's a really unique and fun experience. Halo 5 Guardians comes out this October 27th on Xbox One.